Hello again, everybody. It is Saturday, March the 2nd, 2013, and this uh, subsequent video will be basically a follow-up to my others on the restoration of this 1947-48 Kenmore Ringer washer. Now in full operation, I just finished a little bit of touch-up painting on it, uh, did the drain boards of the ringer, um, scrubbed off the gyrators, activation handle, um, so it was the bare metal uh, shaft and then repainted the handle itself and stripped the paint off of the pump handle because I think it looks better in uh, that polished or brushed aluminum look. So that's pretty much it. And the drain boards are freshly painted with, um, it's an epoxy made by Rust-Oleum. So it's Rust-Oleum's white appliance. Uh, epoxy enamel, which is excellent if you're doing this sort of work. So this uh, video will demonstrate the ringer mechanism from start to finish. I'm doing a uh, rinsing here of some towels, so we'll run those through the ringer. So with this Kenmore, here it is in the upright position with the housing exposing the inner rolls. You press the release button, that drops the cap into place, and then it has to be locked using this lever here. And then up at the top, or actually first right in front here, is the tension control lever. So as you turn it, it goes from neutral, or reset, to low, medium, and finally high. So we'll turn the ringer on here. And that always activates or puts the water flue into the proper position for draining back into the tub. And I'll have to do this one-handed. So we'll turn the agitator off. The ringers are rolling. And we'll run a towel through. Or a couple of items here. And there you can see it coming through the mirror on the other side. And if you re reset the pressure lever to the uh, fully reset position, it actually turns the ringer right off. It won't operate with it in the reset position, even with the, uh, the lever turned on. But the minute you activate the pressure again, it starts up right away. So it's a pretty neat machine, fully functional. And as I said, 1947-48. Vintage Kenmore. Thanks for watching.